Hey and welcome back to my channel. I'm Daniel and today I will go through the planning process of my Instagram. So I have two Instagram accounts. One is X Lima. This is my private, my personal branding. This is the one that the most people know because this is also the one that I plug into all of my social media and also my websites and like everywhere. But I also started a business account and that was just like three weeks before I started the commitment on here on this channel of uploading a video every single day. I'm now on day 43 and I decided I want to continue as long as I can. So the idea for my business account Account is actually the following. It's called workingholiday.blog because last year I launched a website. It's called workingholiday.blog and this website is basically the business I want to build now in the future where I give all the information about all the different working holiday countries in the world. And I will start obviously with the countries I have traveled to in the first place, which will be Australia, New Zealand and Canada. But I don't want to limit this business by those three countries. This is the reason why it's called working holiday because there are at the moment, I think over 32 countries who offer a working holiday visa. So the the idea for my Instagram is the following. Think about every social media as its own medium and the people who are sticking to this medium, they want to consume the content on that platform. So it's very difficult to kind of like drag someone out of this platform into another platform. I can see that on my numbers. If I share, for example, a trailer on my private account for a video that I created here on the channel, for example, only a rare minimum amount of people will immediately go over and watch my video. It's not bad. It's better than nothing because some of the people then they say like, oh yeah, then you made a new video. I will check it out later in the day if I have more time because video consuming is more time consuming. And this is why it's very powerful if you understand every platform and how people use that platform to also dedicate your content plan towards that platform. Okay, just a side note, I recorded this video like seven or eight times because then I realized that inside of this Instagram topic, there is so much knowledge and value that I could share that is too much for this video. If you are interested in the Instagram topic, let me know in the comments and I will make more specific target videos in the future about different points when it comes to Instagram planning. So I decided to go with the chessboard and I also decided to go with curated content. This is a whole topic in itself. I will not go over that at the moment, but for my channel, I wanted to look like a magazine. I also wanted to feature other artists because I believe in them. They make great art important. Every picture I curate from other people, I got the permission from them. So when I started my business channel, I knew that I wanted to become one of the biggest business travel accounts on this platform. And I don't want to have any shaded background. So that means every curated picture, I will always ask for permission. I go in contact with the people. I learn about those people and only people I like. And I really think the, the work is valuable and it's high quality, then I share them on my Instagram account. So my Instagram account is built like a chessboard. The reason why is every time when I post something, it will still remain as a chessboard. It will just rearrange the pictures, but it's always will look like a chessboard. All the other different themes that I was playing around were only looking perfect when you reach the same amount again. Like for example, if you have three lines, every time when you post three pictures, then you will have the three lines again. And then in between, it will not look perfect. It's maybe not a problem, but I decided for myself, I don't know how many pictures I want to post because nowadays, if you can create more pictures, so for example, in my case, if I would upload eight pictures a day, my channel would grow way faster. If I curate very high quality pictures, then it's possible to do that. But to curate, it takes also time. Sometimes like today, I can spend a whole day planning my stuff. Good part about this is I'd only do it once and then I plan for like two, three, or maybe even four weeks, depends on how much time I spend into it. And that leads me also to my process. So what I will do now today, I use an application, it's called later.com. And this is basically a planning tool where I can put posts, captions, everything in planning for Instagram, and then it will post automatically for me on that specific time on that day and so I don't have to care because maybe I'm shooting a video I do something this is considered batch planning it would save me time if I have to do it every single day then I have to take out this amount of time in my day and maybe interrupt my other stuff like making my videos the reason why I go with a planning tool like later.com and I pay for that it's not free I don't even know I think they have a free version but then you cannot plan as much in advance you have to look it up there are a couple of different tools if you want to use something like this uh, some of them have free versions but you are limited and I didn't want it to be limited. I can now plan up to 100 posts in advance and also can use it for Twitter and other accounts. I don't even use all of the features at the moment, but I didn't want it to have any problem. And the main reason why I went with a platform like them is because I have the application on my phone and also the desktop app. And why is it important? Because I can curate and write my text on my desktop. That makes, that means I'm faster writing all the stuff. I would be doing this on my phone and I'm super slow writing on my phone. I will now start to curate content because I have to send out those messages because then in the meantime, when I wait, they can respond and then I get maybe to get the okay for that.
So this is basically my planning for Instagram. I batch the stuff so that I don't have to touch them for the next couple of days or even weeks. And now I have to wait for more responses so I get more pictures for the curated content. I hope you got some value out of this one. Let me know in the comments if you need any more advice or more interest in some of the techniques or programs or whatever. Let me know in the comments. We see us tomorrow. I'm Daniel. Oh yeah, hit like, subscribe and everything. Blah, blah, blah. Bing and bing and the bang, bang, bang. You know what to do. Bye.